Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm doing a little experiment today. Um, uh, I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I think this is the perfect size. I normally work on much bigger canvases. This is the perfect size for an experiment for me, a little test canvas. Um, I am using only two colors today. This is Amsterdam uh, Prussian Blue and it is mixed uh, three parts flow trawl to one part paint and then thinned down to a very thin consistency. This is, it leaves no mound whatsoever. In fact, it kind of indents a little bit when I uh, drizzle it off of the stick. And then this is the experiment part. So this is a mix of um, this little piggy pit, uh, pigments in Mermaid. Um, I've dispersed the piggies in uh, GAC 800, so it has a really strong binder. And then uh, I mixed in some Vallejo Pearl Medium and then uh, thinned it out with uh, two parts flow trawl to whatever that measurement was. And, uh, and then I've added enough water to thin it down to the same consistency as this. I'm going to see if um, I can get pearls using pigments. Uh, rather than using like titanium white or um, I usually use uh, chrome acrylic, acrylic essentials in white. I'm going to see if I can uh, get the pearls using the pigments. So I'm going to do something very simple here. I'm only using the two colors. On this uh, small canvas, I'm going to pour kind of a, a wavy line and tilt out this mixture so it covers roughly half of the canvas. Then I'm going to flood this side of the canvas and then tilt it all out and see if this side gets any pearls on it. Um, and then this side should just be dark. Uh, and because Prussian Blue is a uh, transparent color, I have gone ahead and, and painted the sides and edges. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and let's play. <coughs> This evening, when I heard music echo through the night, the same old songs that I heard the night before, so I started running so I wouldn't be too late.
well, that was a fun little experiment. I did get pearls on the outside edge. I tried to stretch them out a little bit just to um, bring them into the composition a little bit. Um, and it's definitely reactive. Look at the cells that I got when I did the Dutch pour. So that is interesting. I think I'm on the right track. I wonder if, hmm. I need more experimentation. <laughs> my uh, Prussian blue, I scraped the bottom of my container to get enough to um, uh, uh, make up my volume and it, um, it was lumpy. So um, I had to pick out a bunch of lumps, but I know that was the right consistency. I wonder if the piggies maybe need to be a little thicker in order to get the pearl cells. Hmm, I'm gonna try another one. But this was fun. I really liked this. I'm going to try it again. Okay, bye. Okay, so I've mixed this one up uh, with just a at least the tiniest little mound and a trace that lasts for about uh, maybe a second. It's still very thin, but I'm not sure if you can see it. It does leave a tiny little mound. So we're going to try this a little bit thicker. And I mixed up a new batch of Prussian blue um, and strained what I had. So there should not be all the lumps that I dealt with on the last pour. Sometimes scraping up the, uh, the bottoms of a, um, of a jug of paint, um, if it's been sitting a while, it can have those lumps. So, uh, but this is an experiment. So um, that's why I was using that paint. <laughs> I guess I didn't mind if it didn't work out exactly to plan, but let's go ahead and do the exact same thing. We're gonna tilt, we're gonna pour this and tilt it out.
Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I don't think any more pearls are gonna develop, but look at them, they're really nice. I'm super happy with that. Definitely gonna play with this again. Look at that. I'm really glad that I only uh, put it on half of the canvas so I could actually see um, uh, how it's reacting. Leaving that negative space over here shows me how far into the um, negative space the pearls will travel. So it's definitely reactive. I waited about 20 minutes, but the, um, the pearls that appeared within the first five minutes are, are the only ones that appeared. It didn't take any longer. And the, um, but they held their shape really well. I'm very, very happy with them. We'll see how this dries. But yeah, this was a fun experiment. And um, I also wanted to point out on my second attempt here, I did not paint the sides and edges, and this is why you should. This is just a test piece, so I'm not too concerned about it, but if this were a piece I was trying to keep this, this um, uh, on the edge here is why we paint the edge when we're using a transparent color, because as that thin paint stretches over the, uh, the sides, it gets super transparent, you see the canvas through it. So if I wanted to keep this, I could go back and paint those edges, uh, but it's better to paint them ahead of time. But this was a fun experiment. I will definitely play with this some more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and go mix up some paints and be fearless. Believe it or not, this dried in three hours. So fast, this is crazy. But isn't it beautiful? I'm really happy with this. Look how beautiful these little piggy pearls are. <laughs> I love how dark that uh, Prussian blue dries and perfect contrast with that uh, TLP mermaid. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm gonna try this again. I hope you enjoyed it too. So thank you very much for watching.